another good Hi gals, welcome back to another episode of Zero Waste Closet. So last week I promised you that I would soon be bringing you a video all about spring's fresh ideas. And if you recall, the weather was not cooperating. It was certainly not putting, I think, any of us in the mood to talk about spring. But things are starting to lighten up here a little bit in Arizona. and. Hopefully for those of you in any other part of the country or other parts of the world, I hope you guys are starting to get just a little glimmer of hope for better weather going forward. I will tell you, our new spring collections are starting to roll in. And today we have started with some of our great new arrivals. They will continue to come in over the coming weeks and months. And I'm just telling you right now, I cannot wait to get these pieces on my body, but I have to find a way to do it that is uh, consistent with the weather that we're having outside and consistent with my need to still stay warm and cozy. So what we're gonna look at today are several different ways to integrate the beautiful colors of spring, spring's color palette into your existing winter wardrobe. That way you can start to mix and match and play with those pieces without giving up what you've already got going on right now just to stay warm. All right, gals, so in no particular order, I do want to show you some of my very favorite pieces that have started rolling in for spring and just talk about some of the big spring trends we're gonna be seeing. And again, show you how you can start right now by integrating these into your existing winter wardrobe. So first is the idea of the leatherized blazer. Now, you guys know I have been a huge fan of my black leatherized blazer. If you've been watching this channel, I have integrated that into so many of my looks this winter. Well, going into spring, we're gonna be seeing that same trend, but in lighter colors. So I wanna to present to you guys one of my very favorite new pieces in. I absolutely love this. This is a very light color. It's kind of a leafy green, and I'm not sure if this is really translating on video, but this is absolutely beautiful and a great piece for bringing into your wardrobe now because it's nice and warm. It's just a little bit lighter, brighter. And in this case, I just pop it over a white t-shirt, black jeans, and my existing wintry little boots from OTBT. And bam, I've got a beautiful transitional look that is just nice and cozy still. Something else we're seeing for early spring is a transition to outerwear in a spring color palette. So I'm talking things like a bomber jacket or even some sort of corduroy jacket or coat. So I'm gonna show you a few of my favorites. And the other thing I want you guys to know is lavender is huge this spring. You're just gonna be seeing a ton of it here at Chill. So first we start with this really great little bomber jacket. I love the puff sleeve. This is a really stylized little piece. It's so soft, it's faux leather, absolutely gorgeous. And again, so easy to style with your existing wardrobe. So what I do is I take a plaid shirt, like this gorgeous one that I'm wearing here from Velvet Heart, pair it back to jeans, tie it at the waist, pop it over my, uh, my OTBT boots. So this is just something I'm wearing anyway, but maybe I swap out again, like a black leather bomber jacket for something a little lighter, brighter, for spring, my lavender jacket. Now, an alternative to that <clears throat> is to take the same outfit here with the plaid shirt and the jeans and the boots and swap out my outerwear and go ahead and put on this gorgeous new little jacket just in from Pole. This is corduroy here, girls, and it's a lavender corduroy with a fleece lining. This is so warm and so incredibly cute that for me, this is something I'm just gonna kind of ditch my old winter styles for, and I feel like I am definitely headed in the direction of spring. Girls, this next item has to be one of my favorite ways to move into spring beautifully, and it really showcases one of my favorite colors for spring, and it is this gorgeous kind of bubble gum pink. So Paul has sent us this beautiful cardigan in pink. We also got it in in lavender. And what I love about this is we're still rocking a winterized type of style. This is like a chenille fabric. So it's very warm and cozy, but it does convey spring and lightness and brightness. So in this case, I just take this, I put
put it over my skinny um, jeans that are just something that I'm wearing constantly throughout the colder months. Put on a little silky camisole with it and a great pair of loafers that just came in. And that's another thing I just want to mention right here that we will be seeing for spring. We'll be seeing that kind of stacked platform loafer a lot. That's a big trend. Love it in this almost white, like an off-white color. And what a pretty pairing. So this is an outfit that is without a doubt the perfect transitional ensemble. Another thing we're going to be seeing a ton of in the early warm months of spring is florals. And so Great and Gather has sent us this gorgeous little floral cami here. This is so beautiful, you guys. And we also got it in like a charcoal gray. That's gorgeous if you are into darker colors. This is a really pretty way to just lighten things up a little bit. Now, I'm probably not going to wear it sleeveless as I'm showing in the video unless I'm inside. And you know, we've all got the heat on right now so maybe I want to peel off an outer layer and just pop this on with my joggers or maybe even a pair of jeans. I pair it back to the Kochi boots in the rust color so again we're still pulling in some of the colors of fall winter at which are you know seasonal right now and bringing spring into the mix and then if I want to I can pop a jacket or even a sweater over the top to complete the look so I am sort of at once winter and spring all together. Let's have a look at what spring looks like on the bottom half and this is the beginning of it for me. I am absolutely obsessed. Girls, we have had this silhouette before from Paul. These are these kind of genie pants with the high waist and the ruching. They are so comfortable. They're so universally flattering and we've had them in solids before and for spring they have now sent us this kind of splatter paint tie-dye. Ah, oh, you guys, I love it. It's got shades of yellow yellow, pink, green in it. Oh, so beautiful, all against a blue background. So in this case, to make it wearable and still warm enough to get through these cooler months, I pair it back to my white Riley shirt from Velvet Heart that you guys know I absolutely love, tie it at the waist, pair it back to some shoes on the bottom that could be boots. In this case, we've got some gorgeous new wedge peep toe sandals in from Bed Stew. But again, this would work just as well with a booty. And voila, I've got an outfit that just is like hopeful for spring yet totally appropriate to the weather right now and girls the last two looks I want to talk about have to do with the very bottom half which is our feet so we are starting to get in some looks for the feet that play on lighter colors and spring's color palette and you can definitely find some fun creative ways to bring those into your existing winter wardrobe so in this first example I start with one of my favorite pieces here just a really gorgeous rust colored silky dress and I pair it unexpectedly, in my opinion, back to the lighter blush colored boot that we just got in from Kochi. You guys, these are so cute, so comfortable. This is a really nice neutral blush. So sort of instead of beige or taupe, which is a little more predictable, I love the blush and it goes right into the clothing color palette that we're gonna see a lot of. And then look how gorgeous it is next to the copper as I show it in this video, paired back to a denim jacket. This is a really fun daytime or nighttime look. And friends, last but not least, I mean, I just could not do a video about Spring's color palette without showing you the gorgeous new Allstead sneaker in from OTBT. Ladies, look at this. Now we do have the shoe in, I think, four different colors, but I have to say the canary yellow is my favorite. So in this case, I think this is a shoe that does not have to match what you're wearing. And it's something that you can bring into your wardrobe right now. So very easy. I would just take a more neutral color palette, maybe something solid, and bring this in unexpectedly. So I show it to you guys with my black jeans, my oversized black boyfriend blazer, just a white tank underneath, and then my fun pop of yellow on the bottom. And I'm just going to tell you guys, this is like an instant good mood. 
So gals, after shooting this video, as often happens, some great new looks came in that I had to share with you. I absolutely love this button down bubblegum pink silky shirt that reminds me so much of the styles I have been relying heavily upon this fall and winter in more shades of things like moss and rust. Well, this is a great way to carry on the style in a more spring color and I love it paired back to these cargo pants from Velvet Heart. Just a really nice, easy wearable outfit. Another item I'm going to be relying heavily upon to transition from the colder into the warmer months is the kimono. And I loved these last year and I am going to really love them this year, especially if they continue to come in in these gorgeous color palettes like this one here from America and Beyond. This makes a great swimsuit cover up in the warmer months, but for the time being, I love it as a duster worn over jeans with just a great pair of booties. What a nice way to bring some brightness into my day. All right, gals, so raise your hands if you feel just a little bit inspired, just a little bit of hope for the coming warmer weather. I know I definitely do, and I know that by adding just a few key pieces that are just the perfect spring pattern or just that pop of color that just conveys freshness, I know that I can really keep my spirits lifted, especially as the weather kind of ebbs and flows as we're kind of nudging our way towards spring. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, ideas, anything if, if, in terms of even future videos that you would like to see, please definitely email me at lisa at shopchillstyle.com. I would love to hear from you. If you would like to begin shopping some of these great new spring arrivals, then jump online to www.shopchillstyle.com. Or of course, if you're here in Arizona, come see us in our Fountain Hills store. If you guys like this video, as always, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I really love that. It helps me know that this is the type of thing that you like to see and I will certainly make more like this in the future. And if you haven't already, make sure to go on and subscribe to this YouTube channel, Zero Waste Closet. That way you get notifications whenever new videos come out. Thank you guys so much and here's to warmer weather.